Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and today I have a long delayed Troll Beads update for you. I made a few more purchases from Trisha's Gems and they do still have some stock remaining at 50% off online. And I also took apart most of my bracelet designs but there were a few that I just couldn't do it and I thought I would share those designs with you. So let's get started with Trisha's Gems and what I purchased from them. I decided to buy another fantasy necklace and this one is in the Rosa Pearl. So I already have a plain white pearl and I wanted to get the Rosa Pearl. I just thought that antique pink was so pretty. I currently have my pearl inside this little moon pendant and I really enjoy this look. It's just a little bit different. So I thought I would give you a quick look at how different the regular pearl is compared to the Rosa Pearl. They're almost identical in size, but you can definitely see this one's more pink. And it's a little bit of a different size. This one here I've got in the 90 centimeters. This one's just a little bit smaller at 80. I find with my fantasy necklaces, I'm not that adventuresome in splitting them and adding all these beads. I do like to keep it fairly simple. So I added the Rosa Pearl to my collection because it was such a great necklace value at 50% off. I just couldn't say no to this one. And then I also added some glass beads. So let me show those to you. This first bead is still in stock and it's called Universal, or it was called Universal, and I think it's Untroubled now. I have no idea why Trollbeast decided to change the names because when you search Universal, it no longer comes up online. And it's so frustrating because it doesn't match the catalogs. I have no idea why they did that. It makes no sense to me. It's just to me confusing and frustrating, but enough about the rant. <laughs> Let's start raving about these beads. Um, Universal are untroubled here is a really pretty olive green and it has a little bit of shimmer running through it, but not too much shimmer, just enough, just enough, I think. So I added this one to my collection and again, that was 50% off. And another bead that I added to my collection is called Sense, or I believe it's now called Lines of Destiny. And it's almost the same shade, a little bit different than this first one here. And it's got that nice olive green with a shimmer in the background and then the white lines running through it. This next bead is called Desert Mist, and I think this one is so pretty. I'm actually even tempted to get a second one. I don't know how popular this bead is, but I think it's such a beautiful design, that swirl of green that's running through it, and then that nice orange, and I'm not sure what that pattern is. It looks like a little star in a circle, but I think these three together look so nice. And I believe Trisha's Gem still has one more of these available. This next bead is called Clouds, and it's a bit of a petite silver, but not really. And Ellie showed this one, Pandorably Charmed, in one of her Troll Beads videos. And I really like the way it separates two glass beads and just kind of that cloud bubbly outline that it has. And I just thought that was a nice addition to a bracelet when I saw it in one of her designs. And let me show you now with it, uh, with a glass bead on the other side. This is a new one also that I picked up and it's one of the Bubble Joy beads. I believe it's the Crystal, Crystal Bubble Joy. Look at all of these colors together. Isn't that nice? Like right here, I have a bracelet design coming together. But do you see how clouds just kind of separates the two glass beads? And I really like that. I think it's so different and very unique. I appreciate Troll Bead Silver. Um, so this crystal is a little bit of a warm glass. It's clear, you've got the bubbles, and I think it's gonna be really versatile to design with. This next bead, I was so surprised that it was still available at 50% off. I don't know if most people already own it, but to me, the value in this bead was amazing. It's called Golden Swirl. So you've got that swirls that are raised up on the glass. Do you see that? It's just a little bit raised up, not too much. You've got the black core 
And these swirls are also glittery. And I just think this is gonna be really fun to design with. I have a few more darker beads that kind of match this. And here are the other beads that I was talking about. Look how easy that is gonna to be to design with. It just really fits in well. This one is called Lagoon Bubble Joy. And I think these Bubble Joy beads are so fun. And in particular, this one, there's so many different shades involved in this bead. I can see some greens, some turquoise, some blues, obviously. Putting it on its side, you can kind of see how they came into all of these different colors, how they overlap them. And then looking at it from this angle, um, it just really combines well. This one is called Blue Twinkle. And look at that shade of royal blue. I think this one's gonna match the lapis lazuli really well. And then you have that glitter on top that's just kind of in patches coming through. Look at that. I really like that. I think they're so pretty to have all that variety. There's one tiny little patch there and then it gets deeper. So let me just compare it really quickly to the lapis lazuli. And if you actually see the color of this glass is amber colored, it's not clear. And it shows up more, yeah, probably if I do that. So you can see it with the dark background, how it's an amber glass. And putting it next to the lapis, you can see it does have that brighter blue, the same as the lapis. This one is the Sophisticated Armadillo. So I'm trying not to collect all the armadillos because I know once I start, it's hard to stop. This one's always drawn my eye, just those little dots. Do you see the dots in the cream, creamy white there? And this one has always drawn my eye. So I was really happy to add this one to my collection. And again, it's called the Sophisticated Armadillo. I'm not sure if the background on this glass, if you would consider this just like a darker gray or kind of a, a greenish gray, if you want to call it that. And this one came in a kit with Desert Mist and look how nice that is together. And I also had to add in a few more gemstones to my collection. This is one of the little round gemstones that I didn't previously have. It's the Amethyst and I ordered this Sight Unseen. So the one that I received is fairly light in color. It kind of has this pretty, like a, a glow about it, if you see what I mean. So this is the darker side. And then as I rotate it, do you see all those inclusions? Oh, and a little dog hair. <laughs> do you see all those inclusions right there? Isn't that pretty? I think that is. And it just has this, like I mentioned, a glow about this one. So super happy to receive this. It's my first of the amethyst. And if I was to get a second one, I would request a dark one so I could have one of each but this is my first one. And then the next gemstone is called Cradle of Heart and it has two stones involved. This is the strawberry quartz side and I was kind of nervous about ordering this one sight unseen as well because I've seen some where the strawberry quartz is almost whitish and I was hoping not to get that so I'm super thrilled with this one. And it also has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Do you see that right in the center? It's got a nice little shimmer. And then as an extra bonus, this rose quartz is super pretty. And it does, it, the camera is not really picking it up, but it does have a nice light pink look to it. And it's so pretty. I really like that. I like the pale stones with silver. I think it stands out really nice. Here's how the side of this looks. So you can see it's got that kind of um, a daisy motive pattern to it. And then it repeats on both sides. But this is so fun. So really happy with this bead. And coming back to the glass, this one was called Attention, but it's now called Imagination. And look at all the colors. Again, this is ordering sight unseen. Light blue, dark blue, glitter, and it just kind of comes in this wave pattern to it. Super happy with this one when I received it. 
I think it looks absolutely stunning. And then another bead that I received is was called Holistic, but is now called Free Fantasy. And look at these two beads together. They're just such a nice pair. They're different, but they tie in really nice together. So with adding these two beads to my collection, I now have the complete new wisdom kit. And let me put those together for you. And here are all the beads together, the new wisdom kit. So you can see there's some variation in the size of these beads and that's perfectly fine. But what a beautiful kit. I think it can be worn year round, but especially will be nice for winter time. And the last bead that I wanna share with you is the Apple Blossom Pendant. And this one here has been on my wish list with troll beads for a very long time. And it is stunning. It is well worth the wait. And let me just put it on a fantasy necklace for you so you can see how it would look. So you could wear it like this with the wider opening on the top and then the pearl just kind of sneaks through at the bottom and then you can nestle in a glass bead or a gemstone at the very top or another way that you can wear it. And this is probably the way that most appeals to me is by putting the wider opening at the bottom here and it just kind of cups in that pearl so nicely and then it finishes it off really pretty at the top because it's so narrow, but look how gorgeous that is. You can also put this on a bracelet and it'll just kind of cup in um, a bead next to it as well. So these are all of my new beads from Trisha's Gems. And next I'm gonna show you all of the bracelet designs that I just couldn't take apart. This first design uses a lot of the Aurora flowers and Aurora beads, and I really like the combination of the um, amethyst, the gemstones. These are Pandora charms right here with the blue topaz. But I just love all the different shades that combine to make this bracelet design. So this one probably will be a permanent design. I just can't see myself ever taking this one apart. And this one here is Joyful Flower that is still available with the um, Troll Beads. And let me just show the difference in size to the Apple Blossom. So here's the difference. It's a little bit bigger, but honestly, for the price, this Joyful Flower is such a great price. This is my Love Stories bracelet, and it's a favorite of mine. All of these warmed colors, and it's kind of pastel-y as well. And I just love how this bracelet came together. So I've got a few gemstones on here as well, and a lot of cats. <laughs> There's Scary Cat right in the center here with some birds. And then I've got this little cat hugging a gemstone go round. And then this is the um, serpentine bead and the armadillo over here. And I really enjoy this bracelet design. It's, it's really easy to wear. It just, it's comfortable and it feels right. This is my very first troll beads design and I've changed it very minimally along the way, but I'm kind of sentimental to this one. So I'm not sure if I'll take it apart anytime soon. But uh, I think just because it's the first one that I came up with and I do like all of the variety of colors on here. It's a little bit more casual for me. And this is a summer bracelet design uh, that I've had together now. I think this is the second year or third year since I put this one together. I haven't taken it apart yet. I really like the colors in here and they're kind of soft and muted and they just involves summertime to me and fish and ocean life and I absolutely love this one. We've got the clams, the little turtle over here. Look how well this bead is done. Look at the water in the background. Such a gorgeous bead. And the Savvy Salmon right over here. Um, this is the month of July. And then the waves and then the pearl and then the little fishies over here and the whale. And I absolutely love this bracelet design and how all the colors came together. And this bracelet design here combines a kit. It's all part of the harvest release that Troll Beads had a few years ago. 
and I just kind of created it based on the total release that they had in that season because the colors all work together so well. And again, it combines the glass with the gemstones that they released with the glass. Like here is the red jasper horn blend over here and different other glass beads. And I really like this right in the center of the bracelet. I think it's so beautiful. I can't remember the name of that right now, but, and then the little fox over here. So this is also a favorite of mine. It's a little bit casual for me and colorful, and I really enjoy wearing this one. This next design gets worn quite a bit as well, and it's got a lot of the same type of colors, but it has a, a lot of variety when it comes to patterns. Like if you take a look at this bracelet, look how many patterns I have on this bracelet design. And one of my favorite beads on here is this red tiger eye, and it's not the flashiest of tiger's eye, it's not the biggest, but it just has a certain color tone to it. It's like red wine to me, and it's just absolutely stunning. And I like how it combines with these other glass beads, and I just think this bracelet design is, I don't know, it's totally a hit. It's very easy to wear. I wear it a lot. And then this bracelet design here also combines a kit that was released. I wanna call it the Wonderland kit, or maybe that was the name of the release. But I almost took this one apart and then I decided to keep it at the last moment, but it was close. As you can see, it also has some gemstones combined in with glass. And in the middle here is one of those halo beads with amethyst and a venturine. And again, my amethyst on this one is kind of a brighter watery color. And I really like that because when I'm outside, this one just glows right back at me. It's so pretty. And then this is also a lighter amethyst over here. So this one I was pretty close to taking apart, but then I decided to keep it at the last moment. And this is everything that I wanted to share with you in this video. So thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Take care, bye-bye.